Last Thursday evening at approximately 4.30, Spalding County and the city of Griffin suffered a direct impact from what we believe were five tornadoes. The National Weather Service shared with us late last night that Spalding County and the city of Griffin were impacted by two EF1s, two EF2s, and one EF3 tornado. In the immediate few hours following the tornadoes, our 911 center received more than 2,000 calls for service. There were reports that our center was inoperable. This report was inaccurate. The volume of calls received in the first few hours was so significant, the system performed as it is designed and pushed overflow calls to our neighboring county 911 centers to ensure we were responding to our community as quickly as possible. EMA Director Glenn Polk and Fire Chief Mike Bird immediately stood up our County Emergency Response Center and began working through the local emergency operations plan within minutes of the event. Realizing that our community would need significant support in the initial damage reports that were coming in to our EOC requested re and received state support from our Georgia Emergency Management Agency, Georgia State Patrol, Department of Natural Resources, Forestry Division, Georgia Defense Force, along with support from our adjoining city and county partners, Fayette County, Coweta County, Henry County, Upson County, Houston County, Pike County, along with the city of Fayetteville, Peachtree City, the city of Fairburn, and Task Force 4 from Georgia Search and Rescue, along with many other volunteer organizations. We are very thankful to Governor Kemp our local delegation consisting of Karen Mathiak, David Knight, Lauren Daniel, and Marty Harbin, along with our federal delegation, Raphael Warnock, John Ossoff, and Drew Ferguson. We have been in close contact with our local delegation and federal delegation, each of whom are working diligently in support of our recovery. The first 24 hours, our first responders and partners from across our region, along with our state partners, work to ensure and account for the welfare of all of our neighbors. Parts of our community were not accessible by vehicle. We had members of our search and rescue teams walking through much of our community, walking through much of our community to check on citizens trapped by debris. One comment I found notable by our, one of our Sheriff's Department deputies was when he reported, Major, the forest has stood up, walked into the road, and sat down. There are uh, families, friends, and neighbors who lost their homes, their businesses, and many within our community who have had no power since Thursday evening. It is a blessing to report that Spalding County and the city of Griffin have had no storm-related fatalities. Spalding County Sheriff Daryl Dix City of Griffin Police Chief Mike Yates and the Georgia State Patrol along with their outstanding teams worked to respond to the initial calls for service, direct traffic, and support our public works departments and utility companies to open roads for first responders. At this time, I would ask Darryl, uh, Sheriff Darrell Dix to step forward for comment.